Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading for the uh, 20th of October to the 27th. I am Charlene Lizette. If you are new here, hello, hi, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you. All right, let's get this party started and see what's going on for you for this, what is it? For this week, right? And I was like, what, 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 what are we doing? I don't want any of these. Uh, you're showing up there, but let's see if you come out again. Um, okay, so Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, excuse me, One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, I've got, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, <laughs> sorry, I was just looking at the cards at the bottom of the deck. So let's get, um, let's get the mantra cards and let's get the, um, the astrology card and then we'll dive a little bit deeper. Well, I'm so shaky as I'm doing your reading. I, I notice it's even like getting set up for this reading. I don't even want this card. Um, yeah, happiness reversed. It was very interesting, even like getting set up for your reading, Virgo, I felt like jittery or nervous or like flustered, annoyed. Um, things weren't working out for me with like my, my what do you call it? The thing that holds the video up or uh, the camera up is broken. And it just felt like, it just felt like everything that could go wrong was going wrong. And as I'm looking at your reading, I don't know that it's everything that could go wrong is going to go wrong this week, but I do feel like you're going to be in your mind a lot this week. That nine of swords is sticking out to me like a sore thumb. Like it is in, in your face. It's like, Charlene, talk about it. Look at it. And the fact that even like happiness came out reversed. I don't do reversals, but I do pay attention when they come out reversed. Um, especially the mantra cards. Okay, sacred union. You might be, there might be some trouble in paradise um, if you're in a relationship. I wanna talk about the bottom of the deck. Like even the way I'm doing this reading just feels so not organized, not how I normally do it. And you're Virgo, you like things meticulous, organized, like da 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 da, right? Lists. And I feel like this week might feel, maybe with the Aries full moon on the 20th, Things just might feel very like out of your control and it might not be something that you like. Okay. Uh, Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, King of Wands, Six of Wands, the Devil and the Two of Wands. So immediately I see something unexpected coming to you, maybe a message of some sort, but it doesn't necessarily feel like it's going to be the most loving of messages. Pages of Cups are unexpected surprises. They're information that you don't see coming. They're messengers of sorts. Beside the swords though, swords, there's nothing gentle about swords. Swords are cutthroat. They like cut through all the bullshit. They tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And followed by the King of Wands, I feel like it may, especially with the Six of Wands and the Devil, I feel like it could very well have to do with your finances. It could very well have to do with your business. It could very well have to do with even a partnership if you're dating a Leo Sagittarius Aries. There feels to be some type of blunt truth, jarring truth, something coming through that may feel very uncomfortable for you. And then with the Devil at the end here, this is about either you feeling very limited and stuck by this energy, right? Like to me, for whatever reason, whenever I see the King of Wands beside the Six of Wands, it feels like it's a pretentious, somewhat arrogant kind of energy. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's nice. And then coupled with the devil, it's just in addition, like it just feels like somebody who operates so heavily from their ego and could potentially make you feel very uncomfortable with whatever you're going through right now. Like it's not... This doesn't feel supportive. This feels like it is creating more restrictions, limitations, boundaries, but not healthy boundaries. Like it's just like boundaries not I'm not even the right word. It literally just feels like you're in a fucking cage. Like that's that's exactly what I'm envisioning right now. This information makes you feel very caged in Virgo, and you don't like that. You want to be able to move on for that from that. So it could have to do with a relationship for some of you because sacred union is showing up here, Juno. 
It could have to do with your business because the King of Wands paired with the Six of Wands um, is a businessman and businessman, and the Devil is Capricornian energy. And Capricorn is right here at the bottom of the deck for the astrology cards with the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Six of Cups. There's this converse. Sorry, not even conversation. This is energy around your money. Like, how are you budgeting? How are you not? How are you saving money? How are you not? What do you still need to learn about money? What limitations have you created in your life around your finances and your money? How is that supporting you? Sorry, how is that not? Right? Like there's a lot of conversation and 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 feelings and thoughts around that. Coupled with the six of cups, it could also make you feel like, oh well, you know, back in the day I used to have X amount of money and now I don't. Now now I feel like I'm losing money, or my parents always told me I needed to save money and I'm not following by my parents' suit and I'm gonna disappoint them. Like it's something to do with your childhood. You might even have challenges and obstacles around your finances because of your childhood and how you grew up. And when I tell you that it is fucking with your mind, it is fucking with your mind. Like it is at the forefront of your mind this week. The nice thing is, is while you start off the reading a little bit like, you know, bumpy and stuff, as the week progresses, I do love that the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands shows up because it does tell me that there seems to be some type of fire that's lit under you. Maybe after the full moon in Aries, you're sitting down kind of analyzing why you had this monkey mind around finances and you recognize the why and so you're working towards a passionate new beginning of sorts uh, to support you in being able to create the reality that you desire you you almost get like a spark of inspiration okay or like this like aha moment right that makes you realize okay you know what this is my past but i'm not going to let it define me let me now progress and move forward in a different light or in a different way or from a different lens okay However, as the week progresses, again, you go in through this monkey mind. I feel like if you don't have a therapist or a psychologist or a counselor or a life coach or whatever, you need to get on that. Yeah, um, if, especially if this reading is resonating with you because I do feel like your mind sometimes is you, what blocks you and limits you from all your success. Your mind plays a lot of games with you. Your mind um, can sometimes take you on these paths that just don't necessarily serve you for your highest good. Because then I see you with the Seven of Cups kind of like analyzing and recognizing and going, oh, do I have everything that I want? Am I really happy? Is this really the direction that I want to go in in my life? I don't know. I have all these options, but which one do I choose? Or do I sit here and disassociate? And then followed by the Four of Wands, it's like, you want to pick the right path for your future, but you don't know which one is going to bring you this happiness, this um, groundedness, these roots, this stability, okay? And then happiness being your mantra card. And it says, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path, right? So I would challenge you and ask you, like if you're chasing the money or if what you're doing is bringing you moments of like temporary happiness, but it's not really fulfilling you to a certain degree, maybe there's this opportunity for you to shift your perspective and what you're doing for your career, your business, your money, uh, and also not allowing the past to really dictate what is available to you in the future. We're going to move on to your love reading now. Uh, oh, I'm not wearing mine. Shoot. I was going to say the crystal bracelet that I would recommend for you from my shop, the amulet that I would recommend is called Bastet. It's got black tourmaline and pyrite in it. It's this wonderful piece that helps you to attract financial abundance and to stay very grounded and rooted in your pursuit towards financial stability. You can shop over at Starcy Jewels and pick up a bunch of different amulets, crystal, uh, necklaces, bracelets, anklets, etc. They're all there. I hand make every single piece. Um, you can do so in the description box below or you can book a live one hour reading with me as well in the description box below okay now let's get into this love reading and see if this has to do with love for some of you um unrequited love worth waiting for maybe a truth comes out about a connection or a um flirt like even all your cards are coming and like it's very interesting i don't do reversals but the fact that they're coming upside down i just feel like you got a cloudy mind this this week, Virgo. Okay, and um, the high priestess. Yeah, like you know the truth about your romantic situation, and maybe you're not wanting to accept it or lean into it or surrender to it. Knave of Wands, Page of Wands, worth waiting for. Yeah, like you might be looking at somebody and wanting to like date them, 
but somebody's looking at you and you're too busy looking here to recognize that there's someone right there that's better suited for you chariot flirt yeah we're getting a lot of water energy here the high priestess uh is pisces uh chariot is cancer um I think here what I would definitely advise you from a love perspective with the high priestess and the unrequited love is to trust your intuition with the worth waiting for and the page of wands is to trust that the right person will come around um, at the right time, but right now is not the right time. And then with the chariot and flirt, I would encourage you to kind of look at ways that you can celebrate and have a good time. Find the passion in your life, okay? Um because if you don't, this week could feel very draining for you, okay? Um, and if this is energy that you're currently experiencing where you're feeling very like low, um, I would encourage you to shift that perspective and maybe look at the things that are working out in your life and focus on that this week and allow this thing to run its course however it's meant to. All right, thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Thank you for booking live on hours with me. Thank you for shopping at Starcy Jewels. I'm so immensely grateful for all of you. If you want to book or shop, take a look at the description box below. We'll see you on the next one. See you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.